It's been almost a century since the end of the Ottoman Empire, losing a vast amount of territory, including the Balkans. But today, Turkey continues to invest in the region. For more than a decade, Turkey has been working to create stronger economic and political ties with the Balkans. The government has also encouraged Turkish businesses to invest in the region. Earlier this year, during his visit to Serbia, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan attended the groundbreaking ceremony of the Belgrade Sarajevo Highway. The $3.5 billion project will be funded by Turkey and is being dubbed by Erdogan as the Peace Highway. Ve bugün temelini attığımız köprüyü bir dostluk köprüsü olarak görüyor, sembolik bir değer yüklüyoruz. Turkey is among Serbia's top 10 trading partners with a trade volume of 1.2 billion dollars and a goal of more than doubling this by 2023. And more Turkish investment has started to flow into the country. Turkish construction companies are building and will operate 20 power plants in Serbia, and Turkish Serbian economic relations have started to focus on energy as the Turk Stream gas pipeline, led by Russian energy giant Gazprom, will extend through Serbia by 2020. Trade between the Western Balkans and Turkey grew from $430 million in 2002 to more than $3 billion in 2016, with Serbia accounting for nearly one-third of it. If you want to bring security and peace in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and if you want to protect the Bosniaks, the Muslims, you have to have a good relationship with Serbia. Turkey is also Kosovo's third largest investor, with $340 million invested, most of it to buy an airport and power company. And over the last decade, it has been one of the largest aid donors. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, Turkish investments have been more modest, but its political influence has increased since the war in the mid-1990s. In terms of investment, Turkey is not among Bosnia's top 10 trading partners, but has a strong cultural influence on the country. The soft power side of Turkey is quite visible, valuable, and uh, quite well, I think it has been, you know, um, um, received from the political elites on one hand and the people or the citizens of certain or, or the Western Balkan countries. And Turkey has been trying to cultivate those ties, especially through investments all around the region. When Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic visited Ankara in 2018 to discuss infrastructure projects and other issues, he described Turkey as the biggest power, the strongest country in the Balkans. And this is a perception that Turkey wants to realize. Omar Kablan, Straight Talk.